Uh, my name is Ayode Jelaka, and I run a design strategy consultancy in London called Osonimu. And what does Osonimu do? We are a design strategy catalyst, and what I mean by that is we uh, focus on design innovation, we also focus on design ethnography as a way of bringing users and clients into the design process. So there's a lot of co-production, uh, design printing, prototyping, in order to get clients and users of products involved in the design process. So we don't necessarily take a brief to then deliver the brief. We actually respond to the complexities of the project. So we iron out issues the clients have not foreseen only because they haven't really, and we haven't really articulated what the brief is. And then we use the prototyping sessions and design thinking sessions and workshops to really clarify and articulate where the client wants to go. So that's it in abstract. Let's take it through in terms of three pieces of work you've done. Well, let's start first with Tutu two -two Desks. Tutu -two Desk is a product developed in South Africa by Tutu -two Desk South Africa. It's a desk for kids, most of whom school in rural public schools in South Africa. Essentially, it's a portable desk that uh, each kid uh, between the ages of uh, uh, 6 to about 12 use in schools only because there's a dearth of desks. Mm. And what you have on this product is on either side of it, you have graphics. But the graphics is really about part of the curriculum. So on one side, you can see multiplications. And on the other side, you would see uh, uh, subject matter that has to do with literature. However, in order for the um, brand owners to scale up across the African continent, because they have a target in terms of numbers that they want to reach by 2015, in 2015 now, this was a year and a half ago. They set up shop in London and I ran into the CEO at the time, a lady called Rebecca Sweetman, at a place called the Mandrake. So we got talking about what she intends to do at the time. She was looking at that, about how to develop the product for the UK market and for the US market. They also had a launch date, which at the time was very time, uh, the, the, the time frame, the lead time was very short. So I said to her, you know, I think what might be interesting is if we actually collaborated with a school like Central St. Martins in the product design um, program, mm. because Fortunately, they run in the second year a project called the Client Project. This is my alumni, mm. and I'm, I, I'm, I'm very much in touch with them. Mm. Long and short of it, we had about two terms of very, very intense product development and, and, product development and ideation work, workshops and work with the students, where they tested, they actually reframed the brand itself, developed other product ideas. But we came back to the desk idea, where they then tested the, the, the tested new types of messaging on the brand, new types of graphics on the brand that would resonate with the UK and US market. Uh, the, the product is now on Amazon, but the main thing is that the, the revenue from sales of the product in the UK and US is designed to support generation of product in South Africa. So whilst the, 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 the product feel and look mm. and how people experience it is different in the UK to that of, the, of, the, of South Africa, there's a purpose for that. So now if you go to Amazon, you can buy this campaign product. And in that sense, the idea, you begin to see the, the, the where design, as far as Africa is concerned, where in my view, it's beginning to have value. It's really about the social realities on the ground. 